So obviously that was a great win for us. I thought the first half we played tremendous at both ends of the floor. Our defense fed our offense. Uh, really pleased with Tony Parker's play. I thought he was huge today. But to win here on the road without Travis available to us uh, was absolutely a, a, a significant uh, statement by our young guys and our team. I thought Larry's two threes early in the or first half were huge. And Jordan Adams had a, obviously a tremendous game. And I love looking right here and seeing five guys in double figures. When we have that kind of balance, that's when we've uh, had, a, had our best games and been our best teams over the years. Uh, so this is a huge win. Uh, and just excited for our team. And now we have the quick turnaround. I didn't even know we were playing Wednesday until yesterday. Because that's how much I'm looking forward to the next game. So, I, mean, I, I found out yesterday because I had a friend of mine call me and wanted tickets. I said, you sure they're playing Wednesday? So uh, it's a quick turnaround. And uh, we've got to be ready for uh, the Sun Devils, who are like us, fighting to get in the tournament. And everybody's bringing their best. You called the last game against USC depressing. So what kind of adjustments were you able to make in this long stretch off? Yeah, I, I, I actually referred to being depressed after watching the film. And when I watched that, I mean, in our whole team, we saw it uh, again, uh, more clips this week. Uh, we saw the whole game the last time we played, and we played much better defense. And they ended up going on the boards, but uh, it's when they were down 20, they really uh, get to the offensive glass in the second half. I should give them credit. You know, they didn't stop playing. They battled back. They cut it to whatever it was, 11 or 9. And uh, I think we made our foul shots today for the most part. Yeah, okay, 19 for 28. But, uh, yeah, we, we had some uh, great performances. And Dave Ware, i got to commend Dave. They get a double-double. They get 11 rebounds. Uh, really, you know, Dave Ware and Tony really stepped up in the absence of Travis today and played great. And uh, this shows that you know we have a lot of good players. How does it change how teams have to approach you defensively when Tony's playing like he did in the first half? Yeah, you know, Larry did a great job because they were kind of switching, and so he was isolated in the post, and, and he really finished well around the basket. And just couldn't be happy for a guy. A guy who didn't get to play as much as he would like, just stayed positive uh, through all. Uh, everybody asked him the question, oh, how does it feel to not be playing as much as you want? And, and yet he's been a great teammate. And, uh, and we talk over and over again about there will be a time when he's going to be playing a huge game and you're going to be thrusted in, and, and he obviously will be in the same situation on Wednesday. We, and we, it really is great for me because it really gives me a lot of confidence in Tony the way he played today in such a huge game. And you can see how much he's improved during the season. He's improving. He's so much better defensively. I'm just so happy for him because there's not a nicer kid that I've ever coached, not a nicer <laughs> human being or young man ever. And, uh, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and that's, for me, a big statement. And I'm telling you, it's the honest guys. Game started, to get pretty, game started to get pretty chippy, and USC came back uh, fighting in the second half. How were you able to control the team's emotions and the football? Yeah, you know, with our, our guys, I, I didn't see the uh, replay of what happened with Norman. I, I thought that that was the right call, double technical. Uh, I probably took Norman out too long because I just didn't want the chippiness, you know. And there was talking going on. We had... You know, three of the best officials in the Pac-12 during the game. So they did a good job keeping them under control. You got four games up, still tied for first in the Pac-12. How do you uh, manage your team's emotions and keep up to uh, We're just on to the next game. It's not uh, anything but the next game. I think part of it was Shabazz has more contacts in four days. He put contacts in for the first time. He's able to play with them. We've had uh, really a tough time trying to find goggles that are going to fit him and work. Uh, I think it's going to be something he's going to have to uh, get used to, and hopefully it clears up. And we have, you know, one of the top eye institutes in the world, one of the best doctors in the world, working with him. And uh, so I, I, I thought that uh, Schwaz did a good job. I mean, uh, it's, it's all about winning. That's what we're trying to do. Here. So it's not about the stat sheet other than W or the L. What does it open up for you when you get an inside play like Tony gives you where you got a kind of a post guy? Yeah, well, I thought he did a good job. Of spin. I thought Larry was terrific today. I mean, Larry, I don't know, it's just today. He got tired there. I thought I played him a few minutes in the second half. To show you. He started to uh, uh, get a couple of un uncharacteristic turnovers. He still played 37. Uh, but I thought he did a great job controlling the game. What does it open up elsewhere? Well, I mean, the first play of the game, he got the ball inside to Dave Ware, and he kicked it out to, I think it was Jordan, for, for a wide open tree. Uh, I can't, was it Jordan or Larry? Larry. Larry. 
And, you know, getting it inside is so important because it makes the defense collapse and get it back up. And they actually changed the way they were playing this. Normally, they were going underneath screens on all our screens away. They ended up changing that because we shot the ball so well. And we were two for 19 when we played them last time. Too many trees. Today, we were uh, six for 11 from three uh, in the first half and all for one in the second. So much better that they not relying so much on three points. What was your thought process, I guess, in, in Tony not getting as many minutes in the second half? He got tired and they were making a run. And I hate to throw a guy uh, in there during that, that uh that kind of melee, uh, he was a freshman, and the officials got on him one time for getting chipped with somebody, and so we just, you know, I explained to these guys, you know, we, we can't afford that. We have too much riding on the, the line here to have someone miss a game because of uh, a response to someone else doing something they shouldn't be doing. What would have been the difficulty of coming if you had gotten this game? He you are very what ifs now. I know, but no, no, we, we got this game, so uh, this game is over. We got it. It's done. It's in the books. Do you think your players better understood the rivalry this time around? They talked some of them talked about that. I, I thought that the uniforms, and, and I didn't like the quick turnaround last time. We played Saturday, Wednesday. For every, everything's for TV. This time we had much more time to prepare. And what's really disappointing is the first two days of the week, we practice without contact to minimize partly anybody getting injured in practice. So sure enough, the day before we play, we're going with contact and gets hurt in the first five minutes. So, you know, just never know. What is the injury? It's a foot uh, sprain. He sprained his foot, it's a ligament in his foot. And what did the time frame, how long did he have? No, day to day, don't know. He has a fair amount of swelling there. I saw, or, or, I, I told uh, Trav that he should know everything there is to know about uh, Leif Morris by the end of the week because they're going to spend a lot of time together. More questions?